Go ahead. Go ahead. You're almost there. Go ahead. guys um, we did quite a bit of work today as far as moving things and setting things so here's these columns they're not they're not set where they belong right now they're just laid in there we just lifted them up and set them but we gotta plumb them up and line them up so that's what we were talking about two of them carry a beam which is the uh, paralams over there, you see them. We, we brought them up there because we gotta cut them. Um, I could take you up there and show you. So, we got this material handle for one more day and that goes up 12 feet and it does 450 pounds. So, I mean, if you saw the videos, that's why you see that this wooden thing, we had a set in there so we could grab it and then keep it at a, a height so we could shift down and then get it so we can get it up the 15 feet because we had to clear 15 feet from this floor to get them called to set down the holes. So, I mean, it was a little bit of work. So it was like a double pick, but um, worked nice, worked safe. And um, he rented for 70 bucks for the day. I mean, for what we needed, two, 260, 250 pounds, you know, it was perfect because um, we're not gonna go. We're not gonna go rent a, a lull to, to lift these. You know, a thousand bucks for the day, whatever, as opposed to 70, 70 bucks. So, anyways, that's what these look like sneaking down in front of this wall, like we talked about. And then once we set them up above and we're plumb, I can come in here later and drill out drill out for the um, the expansion bolts. And then I'm going to put a nice weld down here, weld it up, and then like we talked about, one second, I'll show you. We have our four by four by quarter, and then these will split a course, one high, one low, so like that. And then we could put a nice fillet weld there on the underside, and even along this edge if we want to, a fillet weld, fill it in there, uh, drill through and, and then through bolt it on the other side. Once these are where they belong. All right, guys, just a quick one, and I'll splice some of the work we were doing so you could see us uh, moving them around and setting them. And I'll show you them paralams. We gotta get them cut to the right dimension tomorrow. While we have a material handler here, we're gonna set them, and then uh, we'll bolt them up the next day through both of them, but at least we're going to get them set in place and where they belong. By the way, that's my dad's saw. That's a, a really nice cordless um, 36 volt. Really nice saw. Anyways, we'll probably end up cutting these with a chainsaw.
that's it guys then I'm gonna paint these up so they don't rust because uh, from here to say about there is glazing and that sits on this side of the wall you don't see these from the exterior but you do see them from the interior but that is holding up the second floor and the roof that's what those are doing that's their job to hold up the second floor and the roof all right guys i'll splice a few together you can see how we uh, made out today but we did all this today so not bad till the next one